Well, what you are seeing behind me is not a fair. Uh, there's no bazaar happening here. There definitely is not rally of a political party, not a conference or a congress of a political party. These people, uh, going as far back as the eye can see, are Ghanaians who have come here to obtain Ghana cards or identity cards. That's the ECOWAS identity card which places them as Ghanaians. This is the premises of the National Identification Authority. Over the decade, Ghana has tried a number of times and failed to have a Ghana card, a single card that would be used. This current administration has ensured and insisted that every Ghanaian holds a Ghana card because that Ghana card is going to be the basis for almost every transaction that has to be using the digital platform. These people here are in their numbers wanting to meet the deadline to obtain a Ghana card because the Ghana card would help them register their SIM card. Prior to yesterday, the Ministry of Communication and for that matter the National Communications Authority had said that if you do not have a Ghana card, you cannot register your SIM card. And if you do not register your SIM card by the end of March, you lose that particular phone number. This brought people in their droves coming in to register. Subsequently, the National Communications Authority, the Ministry of Communication, has issued a statement announcing that it has extended the registration process using the Ghana card to July. But these people either have not heard or are simply unsure and uncertain and are determined to get the cards. And even on the streets outside the NIA, before you even enter the yard of the National Identification Authority, which I must say is a very huge um, compound, you will see people lining on the street. So let me go to the people who are here, frustrated, hear from them, I mean primarily the reason they're here and how the process has been for them. So if you may, please come with me. Are you here to replace, are you here to update? I'm updating. Tell me the story. Actually, I did it, I think, 2021. And um, my middle name was changed. Like, it was, um, I think, typographical error. So I came to do the right thing so that I can get the right one. Which part of it was stressful? The queuing, like, a lot of people. They were crashed, like, together. It was scary, but what can we do? Michael, what is the problem? Why are you here today? I'm here because of a mistake that they have done, tapping error. Mm -hmm. And then I'm from Takwa. I have to come a long journey from Takwa to here just for a spelling mistake. They have an office for the NIA in Takwa. Why didn't you go there? Yeah, they have an NIA office in Takwa, but they said they, they can't do it unless I, I came to the headquarters. And I came here yesterday. Um, it didn't reach my turn. I have to go back home and come back again around 4 a.m. I'm here till now. I didn't go home. So this is like um, you spent like eight hours so far. Yeah, and was, this eight hours. So it's less than eight hours. Yeah, yeah well, almost eight hours because I didn't even finish yet. Mm. So let's say that's uh, that eight hours and my basic is almost to 2,000 Ghana cities, which I'm losing. I see. Which is very bad. Why you 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 have to leave work? You left work. Yeah, I left work. Okay. Yeah, I'm a minor, so I have to ask for permission and come back. Can I come and do this thing? So if you don't get it today, what happens? If I don't get it today, then means, that means I have to go. Then I, I, I'm, not, I'm sure I will, I will not do it. Because it's a waste of time and a waste of money. You know, time is money. Um, what are you here to do? Um, typing mistake, of course, which is not my fault. Um, I believe everybody has been given a job to do. And when you do that job and you don't do it well, and it has affected me, I should be compensated in some kind of way. But being here for long hours, and I mean, it's a whole lot. It's a, it's a working week. And you know right now, the economy as at hand is very, 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 very tough. Where did you come from to this? I, the came, I came from Osu. Osu? Yep. There's a district office of NIA there. Why didn't you go there? When you go there, this is where you get your problem solved. Those district offices, you don't get anything done over there. Did you try? I have tried. And the queues over there, cry. you even get, they will tell you to come here. And when you come here, you, you queue, uh, when you get to where you are supposed to be looked at, they will point you to another place for you, your problems to go and get solved or something. But are you seeing progress here today? Um, how we do? We are just trying to see if our needs could be met or something. So that's why we are here. 
Well, this is the inside of the National Education Authority building. Uh, behind me you see glass um, windows where I believe people are making payments. Um, there are people who are also behind desks serving people, um, taking bio data of people, thumbprints, fingerprints, uh, data being collected, people are holding papers, moving around. Uh, getting resp uh, getting responses from officials, some uh, from this side uh, also queuing to move in and uh, speak to people. People are sitting in queues, some are having their photographs taken. I see heavy boxes piled at the corner there. Uh, let me just speak to the NIA official here um, to have an understanding of what the picture exactly is. Hello, sir. You're welcome to sit in his room. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. So, um, from the outside, even on the street, I see people. Why are these people here and not at the district offices? Because I'm not sure they want to come and pay money when they know that they can get the service for free somewhere else. Um, well, the, the, the premium service is, is, is a matter of choice. So people prefer to rather come here than to go to the district office to have it done. Some people, a lot of people go there anyway. And um, like I said, it's a matter of choice. The other, the other service that we run here, that's the update and card replacement service. We don't have the service, those services at the regional, so at the district offices. We are not trying to roll out at the district offices. But you can do card replacement at the regional office. Okay. So I've seen someone here from Takwa who is here with an issue. Could he have been, could he have, when, he, when I think he had a mistake the on his The replacement track. services start at the district level. He doesn't have to travel to Accra okay. to have it done. But for now he has to, so if you're for in Boko, now, and you have a challenge, you have to come all the way to come. Yes, unfortunately so. What about the numbers? The numbers are huge. Yes, what are you going to do about that? You've provided tents, that's all right, but yes. it's still so it's we, a crowd. We have opened up other registration centers. As we speak, we have a Crasper Stadium registering for free. So someone can go and register at Crasper yes, Stadium. Stadium for free. We have opened up two premium centers in Accra. The Elwax Sports Stadium and then the Carl Bank Head Office on the Independence Avenue. Mm -hmm. Those are two premium centers. And then we have one center at the Kumasi Sports Stadium, Ho Sports Stadium, Tamale Sports Stadium, Sunyani Sports Stadium, and then Cape Coast. And these are all working? These are all working, yes. So can't you close the door here and say that everybody goes there? This is the head office. You cannot close the head office. Yeah, but this is like a, a whole market place that you have. It, it's too okay. chaotic. Unfortunately, that is, that is what we have to deal with. But you have... We tell people, go to Accra Sports Stadium. They but still come here? They still come here. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you. So that's um, the corporate head of the National Identification Authority uh, just explaining to us what the situation with the NIA is and how they are approaching this particular uh, issue. In the meantime, though, uh, people are still filing in, uh, doing all they have to do. Um, trying to get registered, trying to uh, have their biodata updated, trying to uh, capture their details and ensuring that they get a new card. Well, so the people who have been throwing in the National Identification Authority have been doing so because they need to meet a deadline, which is one, they should get a Ghana card and ensure that their SIM cards are registered or else they lose their SIM cards. The Ministry of Communication has come out with a new directive on the registration of SIM cards. Let's speak to uh, the National Communications Authority, which is the implementer of a lot of things that the Ministry of Communication would ordinarily announce as a policy. Uh, the Chief Spokesperson of the NCA is Nana Defebedu. You're welcome to City News Room. Thank you very much. So tell us the idea behind this new extension of the registration. Okay. Um, as we all know, in October last year, when we started the SIM card registration, we said that um, we're expecting all SIM card users 
to make sure that their SIM cards are re-registered with a Ghana card in line with their new directives. As um, the SIM card registration has gone on, there has been constant monitoring of the process. And at every point, we try to find out what the gaps are and come out with measures to address these gaps. Now, getting towards the end of the exercise, we looked at the number of SIM cards that are used in Ghana and compared that with the number of SIM cards that have been registered. And we realized that indeed, we still have quite a long way to go. Um, in addition to that, we also have people who have not been able to access their Ghana card. We have people who bought pre-registered SIM cards that are not in their name. And obviously, they would not be able to do the SIM registration until they have been able to um, prove to the operator, the telco, their service provider, that they indeed use their SIM card. We also have Ghanaians, uh, people using Ghanaian SIM cards living outside Ghana. Some of them are on peacekeeping duty, some are on scholarship, some are in foreign uh, missions outside. And all these people also want to be able to be part of the SIM registration process by registering their SIMs, which they use for other things. So having a look at all these things and looking at the gaps and what we have to do, that is why the ministry decided to put in place um, a four-month extension right. period. This extension, uh, would it not make people go back to sleep and say, well, they've given us four months, uh, let's forget about it, I'll do it tomorrow. And then by the time we realize we have another stampede in July? Well, um, looking at the interest that people have shown in the SIM card registration, I am of the view that people will not be complacent. Um, to date, we have over 10 million people that have done the second stage registration, and we have over 40 million people that have done the first stage registration. In addition, we also have over 6 million people that have been able to complete the stage one registration because of various factors, including the fact that um, they bought pre-registered SIM card. There are issues regarding mismatch. That's the name on their SIM card that is not consistent with the name on the Ghana card. So putting all these figures together, especially even with people living outside Ghana, we see that there is a lot of interest and I'm not sure that people will be complacent.